Hey there guys, my name is Curry Russell. I'm going to talk to you today about profile funnels. I am the author of a book called Jesus Christ the First Network Marketer and I want people to find out about my book. So we're going to show you a very, very inexpensive, incredibly called free, way to drive traffic through the network that you have on social media directly to what you want them to find out about. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out my actual profile. And we're going to go step by step and show you the pieces to a um, profile photo. And so it starts with your header picture, your, uh, your profile picture, I'm sorry, your profile picture is number one. Your profile picture needs to be a picture of you, a happy picture, a picture that says, hey, this person is happy they're excited about life they're not sad they're not you know down that they're not they they're looking as if they're going somewhere uh, i put a tux on one time for an event and now i'm using this picture over and over and over again because it looks like i'm going somewhere like to an event who knows but you want to make a very positive positive picture first because that's your first impression when people see your little thumbnail of who you are that's their first impression of you and if you don't do that right at first you will run people off so the very the second thing is going to be your profile header and that is this this giant picture at the top now i will tell you that you can do these things in canva for free if you've never visited canva.com you just type in uh, canva not canvas but canva.com and what you're going to do is you're going to come in here to the to the template or the search bar and you're going to type in facebook cover there it's right there facebook cover and on facebook cover you can start with a template you can pick any template you want there's some with pictures already and the real real test that you're going to have and i'm actually going to open one here is making sure i'm going to show this one my buddy randy you're going to make sure that you move the content around so that it fits on a mobile view and that's what because you're the, you're going to your profile is going to be looked at on mobile more than any other device in anywhere so as you look at this on a mobile view you want to make sure that the words aren't blocked by your image you want to make sure your your call to action button is not blocked by anything on the side. You want to make sure everything is easily seen. And with Canva, you just drag this stuff around and make sure that it fits with the right background. You can you can do all this stuff that you want really really easily. And so once you've got your image created that for free, once you get that image fully created. Then you're going to want to make sure that you put a description so that when they click on your your image that there's something for them to click on whether it's steps in here whether it's do this do that do this you, you can tell them all about you in this list and by the way you can also do it in your profile picture as you can see i've copied the uh the same kind of description over here that's a great way for when people show up at your profile, they go, well, I want to know what this book is. And they click it, and then they go right to the web page and get information all about that book. The second, the third thing that we're going to talk about is the bio. So this is where you can put a call to action and a link. You can actually put a link in here that people will click on, and you can use any type of call to action you want. Mine particularly is uh, stop living paycheck to paycheck, um, earn, earning your spare time online because we've built all of our businesses online. We've built them all through Facebook, all through using systems like this, and we've made great deals of income in just driving people to these links. So the fourth thing that we're going to talk about is the link in your intro. This link right here, now there is a there is a uh, there's a couple other videos where people show a featured image uh, and I gotta tell you I don't know where my featured image is but if you have a featured image in this area and it, you want to make sure that it's pointing people to click here and when I say pointing use 
Canva, use anything to literally put arrows that tell people to click the link in your profile. And it's gonna to point to that one link. Now, one of the biggest tips that I've ever received in this space is this intro section. Clean it up. Nobody cares about where you worked at for the last 20 years. Nobody cares about if you're married. Nobody cares about if you've got uh, 47 family members. They don't care about all of your social media links. They don't care about that stuff. What they wanna care about is how fast can they figure out what you're about? So the things that I like to put on here is the thing that I'm currently doing, the, the business that I'm currently building, my my book that I'm, so I, it shows me as a published author that I'm married because I get a lot of people who send me some crazy requests, uh, followed by this gives me kind of proof that I've got people who are listening to me, people who are following along with what I'm doing, and my one link. Now yours could be two or three more things, it could be less things, but you just want to get rid of as much pos as possible and prevent people from having to scroll to find information. And back, <clears throat> back again, the fifth thing is going to be the featured image. Now, if you have uh, one featured image here, like I said, you want to focus that entire thing on driving people to your one link in your intro section. Now, the way this works, the way this works entirely, the system that is required to make this fully work is that you need to be adding friends every single day. Now you need to be adding lots of friends and these needs to be, need to be target marketed people. So let's say that you're, you, you've got an affiliate program and you're looking for, uh, you know, network marketers to promote to. One of the greatest ways that you can build yourself as an industry expert, as a as a as a uh, expert in this area, is only add those target markets as friends. Don't randomly add strangers to your team that you don't know what business they're in, what companies they're in. So the way that you target these people is know who it is you're going after. So let's say that we were looking for a, a network marketer. So we're going to go to say. Um, uh, let's just use this mom's direct sales group. We know these people are in sales and you can actually go directly to this members area. And what you can do is you'll see that I have a lot of these people as friends already. The 118 actual friends in that group. You can go to members with things in common. And as you see, I've got some, I got some friend requests already going on. So that you can see that they're already waiting, they're pending. You can add all of these people as friends, and if you add 10 to 20 of these people a day, it's going to literally start giving you, the system's gonna start giving you recommended friends who are all network marketers, all because of the connections within connections within connections that you're creating right here. It's going to, the system is gonna start providing you with those people. And I, we, I've seen this time and time again. I've seen it over and over again where my friends list will just be my target market. And guys, the last piece of this puzzle is content. The content that you put out to the world is needs to be relevant to what you're doing. If your focus is on your business, post business stuff. If it's uh, if you're if you're trying to get people to uh, to talk about dogs post dog stuff. And that doesn't mean uh, every single post, but as you can see here that I post, I post things about business. I post things about my, my book. I post things about, this is a Facebook Live I did about my opportunity. Um, I, I, my blood sugar, where I'm, my, uh, I don't take uh, medication for my blood sugar anymore. The clubhouse that I joined, I think about network marketing conspiracy theory just one p hilarious post that's a joke post by the way that's not real uh, family there's one family post and the successes that we've had that's a, a Father's Day post a thing on success my timeline is so focused on what it is that I'm doing and the people I'm trying to help guys a profile funnel should be simple it should it should allow a person who has never talked to you before 
to see that you actually have something going on. You are a professional in your industry that, that you're not a regular person point just driving traffic that you have something that they could possibly benefit from. And this, this could be the most powerful thing that you do to your business. So by the way, take all of this information for Facebook and apply the exact same principles to LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, everything that you can create your profile funnel to, do it again. And by the way, one of my favorite last points, and I'm gonna shut this down, is the header images in Canva. When Once you, uh, hold on, I said, hold on, I'm on the wrong screen. Once you find the picture that you're done, you can hit resize and literally say LinkedIn banner, copy and resize, and it's going to resize the image. And then all you have to do is adjust the stuff to fit for LinkedIn. You don't have to recreate and you can match your content, guys. Match your content so that when people look at one profile, they see the same guy over and over again. So like if you looked at my LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn, com slash Curry Russell and if we looked at my profile there I am there's me in the suit there's me with the orange background there's me with my pre-order book on my website I would say they pretty much match if you looked at my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Curry Russell let's see Orange background, everything has, has me, my face, uh, my little cartoon face on this one. Everything matches. So when it, so when you, uh, if you look at my branding, you look at who I am as a person, I match across the board. And it, and it continues through other social media platforms. So just understand that your, the way that you set your profiles up can literally determine the future that you have in your business because you're setting yourself up to appear to everyone else that you're serious. So I hope this helps. I hope you understand what a profile funnel can do. Um, I look forward to talking to you real soon. Have a great day.